No, come on, shoot, shoot the ball. Come on. Oh, hey, hey, everybody, welcome, welcome back to the two dumb injures, Mike. Yeah. I didn't even I, see you get here. Yeah, uh, you know, you know, I, I'm late as usual. Hi, guys. I do want to say welcome. Welcome to the Two Dumb Yinzers. Yes, welcome um, back. This is a Saturday. This is a special, a Two Dumb Yinzers special. Uh, you know that we've done these specials in the past. We certainly, we've uh, had musicians, we've had rappers, um, models, the whole way down the list. If there's something special that comes along, we like to do an episode for them and have them, uh, you know, display yeah. what it is that they are into. And, and we put it out there over the weekend and it's it's special. It's, it's all for them. So. Yeah. Very little for us here. We are going to uh, be very excited to get today's special show out, Mike. I got to ask you, uh, Mike, what what is there? What what really is, is scary to you? What what's something you know? It, you know, when I think scary, I think that 2010 Steelers defense, Ryan know. Clark, uh, James Harrison, Paul Molo, the guys that changed the rules. Why we have the NFL we have no, now? That's no. scary. Not the not the 2010 Steeler defense, Mike. Come on, when you think of scary, what, what do you think of the Penguins last season and this season that oh. can't beat bottom feeders and make the playoffs? Mike, you're, you're terrible at this. No, Mike, what what when you think of scary, like you, you know, uh, yeah, what what really scares you at the end of the day? Actually, having to talk to Derpy. <laughs> well, that answer is never wrong. <laughs> that answer is never wrong. That answer is never wrong. Uh, but no, Mike, what we're going to do today for our special episode, we got the Paranormal Mavericks coming mm -hmm. on. This interview today is going to be with the Paranormal Mavericks. And what the Paranormal Mavericks are, Mike, is it's an all-female team of paranormal investigators. Mm -hmm. uh, the leader, you recognize her from the show, her name is Dawn. She's been on before. She's been in the Carver House movie. Uh, that, that came out and also she was on before for a few other things she's into yeah. uh, modeling and a few other things like that but she leads the way in this group of gals they go out mike and they they go into old abandoned places and places that are you know supposed to be haunted with ghosts they get in there yeah. and, and they and they you know they they walk around they talk to them they they try to find these ghosts in these houses yeah. and, and places mike uh no no i'd rather you know look at mike tyson in his face and say i can beat you right now old man <laughs> then go to these places that may or may not be haunted. The skeptic that I am when I'm in those situations, no, I turned into that frightened little child. No. But I do know that these girls are very brave. These women, I'm sorry, they're very, yes, very women. brave because they continue to they continue to do this. And uh this is their their interest, Mike. And they they just they go out and they find ghosts and they and they go toward them. I don't get that usually. You and myself, we go the opposite way. I go the opposite way. I'm... But these women, they go toward the ghosts, Mike, and uh, you know that's what fa that's what fascinates me the most. Yeah. And, and the most important part is, you know, what they're from right here in Pittsburgh. Yeah. And that's what makes them my favorite yes. paranormal team. Uh, Mine too. Yeah. Anything local, you know us. Yes. Everything local, we support. That's right. Um, we're we're gonna do today, guys, is we're gonna give you a, this special episode. This is gonna be the ladies. From the Maverick Paranormal... Paranormal Mavericks. Paranormal Mavericks. <laughs> I, I knew I knew you were going to... like. This is typical Ryan. It is. You will say is. something backwards. I love it. As a matter of fact, I say everything backwards. But hey... You do. It's great. We, but uh, it's going to be it's gonna be an amazing episode, everybody. We uh, hope everybody sits back, relaxes, checks it out. You might recognize some of these people in the video. You might recognize some of the places they talk about in this video. Mm -hmm. But one way or another, it's going to be interesting nonetheless... Um, I do want to say that we are live. Our particular show that we're, we do every day is live from Monday through Friday on YouTube right here from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. And that show that we do every day, we upload it over on Spotify in podcast form. So in case you don't get a chance to watch or you just prefer to listen to the show, you could always put it in your earbuds, do whatever you can do and listen to the show. It goes up on Spotify later the same day every day. Um, also, we have our presence on Facebook. Instagram, Threads, Twitter, or X, and our website, Mike. What is our website? The Two Dumb Yinzers dot com. It's spelled V T H E. The number two D U M Y I N Z E R S dot com. As you can see above me and behind Ryan, that's how it's spelled. The Two do The Two Dumb Yinzers dot com. Um, it, like over there, you know, us. Uh, page for our links for mine and Ryan's all of our social media 
is there as well. Um, we got a merchandise store, and we also have a blog up there. It's you know, we're if you're just tuning in for the first time. We're more sports related, so a lot of our articles are about sports. But yeah, we have a blog over there, so check it out, guys. V2WMinsers.com. Go check it out, everybody. It's really good stuff. Um, a lot of work's been done on it, and we are very proud of it. So I hope you do go check it out. But uh, you know what? I, I'm not going to delay this any longer, Mike. I know the people that are tuning yes. in, people that are clicking, people that are, are here. Yes. They want to see the women. Yes. The paranormal mavericks, Mike. Yes. They want to see the paranormal mavericks, what it is they have to say. And I got to be mm-hmm. honest with you. So do I. I can't wait to hear what they have to say. Me too. Um, they And again, our hometown team here, if we need anybody, if you know anybody around Pittsburgh area that, that needs somebody to come in, and they do uh, many things, as far as I understand, yeah. not just investigate. They can cleanse your house yeah. on top of many other things. So I hope everybody enjoys this. Um, it is the Two Dumb Yinzer Saturday special. Again, the Paranormal Mavericks, everybody. I hope you enjoy. All right, we're back, everybody. We're back to Two Dumb Yinzers. This is a, a very special episode. Um, as you see, we have some guests here with us today. Dawn Lori, I think everybody will remember Dawn from not that long ago. She was just on talking about the Carver House. It's a uh, the horror flick that we uh, talked to the actors, actors and actresses not too long ago. But um, you, you notice Dawn's down there. Also, she has some of her friends. What's going on, guys? This is for a paranormal, a paranormal team. Uh, these guys are the Paranormal Mavericks. We're going to talk to them a little bit today because they are a group of people that they go and do paranormal uh, investigations and things things like this. I'm very interested. I, I have a load of questions I want to ask you guys. I want to talk to you guys about things. Um, welcome, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. really good. Thank you for good. having me. Good. Um, Mike, you want to say hi to the, yes, to the guests? Thank you. Yes. Hi, everyone. Thank you for uh, sitting down with us today. Appreciate it. Hey, Mike. Hey. Yeah, it is really exciting, guys. I this is you know, and this is really cool because I, I think that everybody at some point in their life has some kind of interest in the paranormal, whether it's something that you're really into, whether it's something that you just kind of brush by at life, maybe, maybe different points in your life, it comes and goes. But as time goes on with, with these ladies, they uh all realized, hey, you know what, this is something that we like to do. They met one another, they got together. And they formed the Paranormal Mavericks. Um, Dawn, how do you guys come up with this name? That's kind of crazy, actually. It was just, we took a road of our own. And we just, you know, being all females, and we just, you know, wanted to do our own thing. And it just fell into our laps. We just took it. I, I like it. it. It's different because, you know, it, it is a thing. Uh, anytime, you know, you turn on and see Zach Bagans or the ghost hunters or whoever, there are men involved. So, you know, it's it's interesting. And, and I, I, I like this this uh, way of going at it. And there's probably no thought to you just found a bunch of ladies and you said, hey, this is what we'd like to do. Let's do it. Is that right. correct? Absolutely. You know, we've always um, all, each and every one of us have a passion for, you know, the paranormal and just horror in general. So we just took it upon ourselves to just um, roll with it. And just go. And I know that you do, of course, talking to you a couple of times. We've had you on the show uh, two or three times, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me take a moment to introduce everybody. Uh, of course, everybody has met Dawn. Um, I'm just going to go from my left to right as I'm reading a book. Uh, Terry. Uh, Terry, apparently, she knows Dawn. They worked to work together. No, you, you worked with her or no? <laughs> <laughs> we were on, in the Carver house together. That's how we met. Okay. So you guys did the, the movie yes. together <laughs> and, yes. and Danielle, you worked with her. Yes. Okay. I'm just trying to straighten this out on my end. <laughs> so Terry, uh, then there's Danielle, Danielle, how are you doing today? I'm wonderful. Super. <laughs> and finally, Shay, Shay, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I got to talk to the ladies a little bit before the show. I got a little bit of, uh, up, a little up to date on, on how they kind of got together um terry why don't you tell everybody how it is that that you guys formed together you formed this group and are now the mavericks the paranormal mavericks i'm sorry um john and i have talked about this for a while now and um we thought about doing it last year and i don't know this it's just coming together real fast right now okay oh um i talked to don and we had another girl with us but you know these girls were all working out really good we're all good very good team and these guys all get along well? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, we do. Um, you know, 
uh, tongue in cheek, you know, you get a bunch of women together in one place. Sometimes it generally doesn't work out so well. So that's why I'm going to, I'm going to ask these yeah, questions. Right, guys. You and I have never butted heads before. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, uh, so Shay, you had said that you've done some paranormal uh, work before you've gone on ghost hunts and this type of thing. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So um, I used to drag my friend along, which was not her thing at all. And she, she would join me just because she was my best friend, but I've always had a passion for it since I was a little girl. And I have gone to a couple different places, um, Gettysburg, Trans Allegheny, uh, a few, few places around here as well. Um, and like I said, I've really been the only one uh, in my close group that has liked that. Um, so finding these girls was, uh, was a godsend because I never had anybody to do it with. And now uh, we all share the same passion and it's good. We, and we have a great time. Great. Uh, Danielle. Yeah. So you, you guys did, you just checked out, I, I recall before the show, you just checked out an abandoned farmhouse. Is that, yeah. is that correct? Yes. And how did yes. that go, uh, Michelle? I'm Danielle. I'm so sorry. That's okay. It went great. Um, so there was a lot of different feelings in the house um there was you know i i feel like we had some activity which was okay. good um but i think it went well okay now has this always been something that you've been interested in as well danielle so it was not something that i've ever really thought about and then i met dawn and we became really close really good friends and she has just um, it, she has just brought more interest to me, um, of doing stuff like this. Okay. Um, and, and it, everything that she teaches me intrigues me to do even more, to okay. go even more. Da to, Dawn's the um, right, Dawn's the right person for this. I, you know, I know that she's yeah. always, always had this kind of interest and, in, uh, you know, from the times we spoke, you know, there's been a lot of interesting things that I've learned from Dawn just in those, you know, few times, um, Terry, when you guys went out to this farmhouse, so so all four of you, all four of you were there when you went to the farmhouse? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Terry, uh, tell me a little bit about the farmhouse. How was your experience? I was, it was very exciting. I I think, I feel like we got a lot of activity, especially in the basement area. Okay. Um, I don't know if you got to watch the YouTube at all. We were, I, we were live that night, but uh, yeah, there okay. was a lot of activity down in the basement. Um. I personally felt some stuff up in the attic before Dawn had gotten there. Um, I didn't see anything, but I'm hoping that we go back. Okay. Um, for we're, we're planning on a special night. So does this seem like does that? Sound I like didn't something? know if I'm supposed to say or not. <laughs> right. Hey, does it seem like this is something you know that, that you want to do? Is go back and check this place out? I mean, from what you said, I obviously it seems that you, yes. you guys are talking. Yeah, I think so. Okay, is I this think place we need to go back? Okay. Yeah. Some unfinished business, huh? Yes. It's yes, for sure. Is this place, I mean, we're, we're all here in Western Pennsylvania, I assume. Is this place close to you guys? Do you guys anticipate traveling a little bit? As Shay mentioned, she, you know, she'd been to Gettysburg and a few other places. Uh, are you guys going to just, hey, wherever this takes us, we'll go and, and we'll be there? Oh, yeah. We'll go anywhere at this point. I mean, right. we, it just takes us, you know, we love it. All right. Great. Um, Danielle, how long have you and Dawn known each other? Oh, probably two years now, Dawn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So probably okay. about two years now. And what about you, Shay? And you, you just met up with everybody? Is that uh, how they I did. Okay. I did. Um, so I didn't know any of these girls uh, until Danielle came down the store and, uh, you know, she wanted to get um, T-shirts made and needed help with the logo and stuff like that. Okay. So my husband was just kind of like, oh, my God, you got to talk to my wife. She loves this stuff. And when I when I called Danielle about, you know, you know, the logo and, and you know, different things in that um, we got to talk and we talked for like an hour on the phone and just shared the same interest. And, you know, we were laughing and it was it was good. And then she immediately called Dawn and was like, we 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 got to get this girl, you know, and awesome. I was I was super excited, um, you know. To get that ask, invite, so that's awesome now let me ask you guys you know i, I i'm gonna try to catch up with you see where you are at as far as how you how you do and operate things 
Uh, a lot of times, you know, you see a lot of these shows on TV. They 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 go with the scientific route. They they have a lot of gadgets, a lot of things like this. Um, Don, with your background and the things I know about you, do you guys do more uh, spiritual? Do you try to communicate? Is there any, um, you know, as I'm, as I was saying, like with these shows, it's primarily scientific. How do you guys approach and, and, and go about doing your investigations and how will you guys be doing it moving forward? I think we do both routes. Okay. Um, and I think that's what's important to the viewers because we have spiritual and we also have the scientific. So we have all the gauges, you know, we have the yeah. REM pod, we have the EVPs, we have um, things that are important, but we also have... Um, our intuition, our third eye, our gifts, you know, we yeah. we're taking that in there w with us because, you know, there's people out there that are not, oh, I don't believe in that stuff, but then, right. you know, what? it's okay. You don't have to, because what I say and what I feel, you can debunk that if you'd right. like, but you have the scientific data that Shay and Danielle are showing you on what I'm saying. So, right. you know, we, we definitely have both routes going because I like we that. go into the attic and I felt that little girl and I was, you know, seeing that little girl. And then the owner's daughter, was it the daughter or the? It was her son. Her son, sorry. Went in the very next day or something like that and saw the little girl as well. Wow. So there are things that are just, you know, you can't explain. And I think that's the whole point of what we're doing is going in and, you know, getting that information out to eventually as we build a clientele if they want us to clean and banish and yeah, that's our goal. So you need to um, do the whole thing. I, I mean, that's awesome. It's, it's everything. You, if that's what they want us to do, clean, banish and help them. Absolutely. Cause yeah. you know, I'm trained in that, but right. we also, if they want us to um, just go in and find out what is there, that, that's fine as well. It's whatever they want us to do. But at this point we're kind of just feeling our feet, getting it, you know, wet and we're going out into you know, the, the bigger things like Trans Allegheny and, yeah. the, you know, the prisons, getting the experience right now and getting the the lives out there and getting the information out there. That's what we want for the viewers. Well, that's super. I, I think that yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, so, I want to kind of go ahead, Mike. Real quick. Absolutely, man. Yeah, because I like what, what, Don, what Don just said, because I go back and forth on the paranormal. paranormal. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know, my grandmother's house, I swear, like when I'm there, I can still hear her in the kitchen. But, you know, she's been dead for 20 years now. Is that just a memory? Is that something there that happened? But then on the other side of me, I'm like, yeah, I want to believe that. The other side, though, too, is like the scientific side. Well, is that just a psychological thing? And I like how you guys were incorporating both. So right. if there is someone like me, okay, you can point to the scientific data. Okay, we're picking something up here. I'm like, okay, cool. I can, you can dig into that. So I like how you guys are going both ways and with the equipment i was just going through the the live that you had and live that you posted and i'm seeing all kinds of different equipment mm -hmm. now i've never done any type of paranormal investigation i've never been on a ghost hunt or before or whatever can you explain what some of the readers in that you guys use sure does anybody want to or you can Go ahead. This is an open-ended question, like whoever uses Sure. You know, well, um, yeah. well, we use, um, we have two spirit boxes. We have the, first of all, the, the SP7 spirit box is basically the, the go-to spirit box that most people mm -hmm. use as an investigator. It's reasonably priced. It's about $100, but also it is like the number one spirit box um, as far as once you get about 250 up in the 250 to 300 mm -hmm. it, just, it starts going pretty fast the spirits can manipulate that channel and it's it's easy to use it's small and um most ghost hunters will use that one then you get to another spirit box is the sp11 and that is a little more a little more high priced but um yeah, you can okay that that's yeah Shea that showed one, it down there Oh, okay. That is the one that Shay used on the live, and that also, once you get up to about 250, 350, once you get up to those channels, the spirits manipulate those. Another one is, another spirit box is the Obulus. Um, that is more of like a computer-based, I would say. It's like certain kind of words, if I'm, if I'm correct, um, programmed. It's like an electronic. They can talk it through it. Okay. Um, 
We have dowsing rods, but we didn't use those at the, um, the live. Um, we have the temperature gauge where you can tell different sites, you know, if cold spots, hot spots, um, there are many things. We didn't use the REM pods um, th this live, but we will on the next one. And that is a basically a frequency field. If it gets too close, the spirit gets too close, it will go off. Okay. We did use sensors. Um, I hope I'm not going too fast. Sensors no, are great. And a lot of paranormal investigators use those little sensor balls. There's many different sensors you can use. Um, but we use the little sensor balls all over the house. So if you get too close, um, any kind of energy, it'll manipulate it and just go off. So there are many things that many different investigators use. Um, there's a method that we're going to be using. I don't want to give it away yet, but there's a, a, mes a method that we're going to be using on our next live that um, I've been actually doing myself before I would do it with let the girls do. And I wanted to try that first because a lot of experienced ghost hunters do that in their I don't know if you watch the 28 days um, of haunting with the Lorraine Warren. Oh, I know I the, who Lorraine know. Warren is, yeah. Yeah, so that was really interesting when I was watching that, and they do different kind of experiments in there. Um, they talk about the veil. So, but just about equipment in general, there's there's many types you can use. And as Mike mentioned, and then I mentioned earlier, I, I think that it's important to really come at it from a couple different angles because people generally aren't that smart. And if they are, people, in other words, they're not willing to accept or listen to what others people are thinking if it if it contradicts what they think and what they believe. So that's why I think it's very important that you guys do it this way and you use equipment and you use spirituality. And, and you know, you really leave very, very little wiggle room for somebody to try to debunk what you're saying, opposed to, you know, saying, hey, you know what? These people know what they're doing. They they have an interest. They have feelings. They have uh, on top of using this equipment. So, you know, people might take people that, that use your route more serious i think because again if i'm more of a science guy you have something for me if i'm more of a spiritual guy you also have something for me and i think that's important because a lot of things and a lot of teams that you see don't do that it's either one way or the other right, right. and there's well, a lot of experienced teams out there as well that you know i mean i'm friends with quite a few paranormal groups and okay. they're very experienced and I respect them, but you could, you always can learn more and I'm learning from them, Absolutely, you know, and it's great, you know, competitions at the bottom, you know, right. you always work together, but it's also, you know, you want that collaboration. You shouldn't just be a matter of judging one group and, right. you know, it should always be, I think, working together. And, but unfortunately there are going to be viewers that are just, I don't believe this and this yeah. is not the way it is people and are people you know they're gonna do what they do and uh you know it's right. just something we got to deal with uh unfortunately right. guys I, you just mentioned a few of the places that you guys are you know thinking about going some of the places that you mentioned some places that you know some of you guys already been to uh you know number one project around here from my understanding is the uh the west virginia penitentiary uh for many years i've had an interest in this field and many 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 times i've heard people bring up the west virginia penitentiary I've never personally went down myself. A friend of mine about two years ago had showed me a picture when her and a few people went down to do the same thing. And clear as day, there was a person standing behind her in the picture, and there was no other person in that picture with her. Um, she had sent it to me. I, I had it for quite some time, and I, I don't have it anymore, unfortunately. But this West Virginia penitentiary seems to be a hotbed for paranormal activity on top of where Shay, Shay had mentioned earlier, Gettysburg, I, I think would also be up in that top tier of places that, that you, you generally hear about when people talking about these things. Uh, do you, have you guys ever discussed, talked about, been to, or plan on going to the West Virginia Penitentiary? Uh, that one's on the list, yes. Okay. I have not been there, but I would like to go. I have yeah. been there. You but have I've okay. been there myself. Okay. Um, yeah, but I would love the girls. I would love us all to go there. We're going yeah. to the Trans Lunatic Asylum. Nice. Wow. That Some is place, I, for no. April 20th. Uh -huh. Nope. nope. And that is a very, that's a hot spot. Lunatic Absolutely. Okay. I love that place. You've yes. been there, Shay? I have, yes. Okay. 
what kind of advice do you give to you know to terry to danielle shay uh you know for going into these places i mean of course you want to get the best results you possibly can and uh you know and, and they i'm sure they feel confident they're going into these places you know with their friends and uh, but what kind of confident or what kind of i'm sorry what kind of heads up what kind of advice do you give the uh the people that haven't been there shay I mean, you know, sometimes you just have to be patient, you know, because right. you don't it, you don't just get it right away. You know what I mean? Sometimes right. they don't want to communicate right away and you just have to be patient or try another method or whatnot. But you're you're guaranteed at the at the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum to get activity for sure, okay. because it's it's a, there's an abundance there for sure. OK. Uh, now, here's a question for you. This, this one. Now, I, I mentioned before the show, I, I used to do this a little bit back in the day. I've always had an interest. I, I, you know, at 11 years old, I seen a commercial and I wanted a Ouija board at that point. And, you know, it's always been something that's been in, in my area of interest in my life. Uh, I have a question for you and, and maybe more toward the guys that's been there and done it a little longer. Have you ever gone, you know, whether it's a successful hunt or whether it's not, but you go home and, and you feel something. There's something that stays with you and Dawn. And, and I, and I, know, I probably know how you're going to tackle this because you do um work in this area a lot of times with a lot of your interests and things that you do but has there ever been a moment where you go home and for an example every time we went i came home and shit j was just bad every time whether i was with my ex we were fighting whether it was something going on at the house was broken it never failed after a hunt things could have been going well all the way up until that point never failed when i was done came back into my home started living my life there was always something that was off always Dawn, any ever, ever anything like that? You know, protection is so important. So um, I can honestly tell you that in the very beginning stages of my spirituality, things got wrecked for me. I, I really will tell you that because yeah. I didn't protect myself. And that's why now in my stage as, as an experienced practitioner, I will not let it happen to these girls. And that's I am so strong about, in general, my friends, my family, on how strong I am with teaching protection. And when we go into sites, when we leave sites, protecting yourself, what to say, what not to say, I make sure that we are so protected. That is a, that's greatly important, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, I'm not kidding you. I, I, I went through some very, very tough times in the beginning of my spirituality. I learned the hard way. <laughs> And no. as, as did I, you know, and whenever this was going on, I used to think to myself at first, it, it was just coincidence. You know what? Uh, bullshit happens, whatever. But as time went on, every time I go out, there's something. And it's, you know, the, the, the next time is worse than the last. So th this is this is huge. And, and uh, Terry and, and Danielle and Shay also, guys, I mean, has uh, has anything ever happened to you? And I know some people have a minimum experience, but, you know, has anything happened to you guys yet? Where you went home and, and there was some unexplained things or things that uh, you swear was ignited by this not from a haunted house yet but from the hospital last week i was visiting somebody and i thought that a man followed me home and i did message dawn and talk to her about it because okay. i felt the guy with me all day the next day but i did go back the next day to the hospital and i talked to the guy in my head and told right. him to stay there stay there or go to the light wherever but don't come home with me <laughs> right because no matter how brave you are when you're out doing these hunts when you're walking up your stairs from the basement to the upstairs in the middle of the night at your house there's always going to be something following you up the steps no matter what right yeah yeah yeah. i, <laughs> yeah. I do yeah yeah you know it, it already we're not <laughs> we're not kids anymore but i can admit this does happen to me still and you got to turn around and, and look down the steps when you Double get to check. the top and the whole thing um Danielle, what about yourself? Have you had any experiences yet or anything that, that uh, kind of falls into this category? Uh, I have not yet. Okay. Um, but I have a lot of faith in Dawn and keeping us very well protected. Um, so I, I, I don't believe that I've had anything like that. Okay. Um, maybe just my ex-husband that likes to hang around me, but that's it. Okay. <laughs> he likes to stay by my side. Um, but other than that, I mean... No, I, but like I said, I believe Dawn keeps us very, very well protected. Very I, well protected. That's great to hear. And, you know, knowing Dawn, that does not surprise me at all. Uh, Dawn and Shay, have you guys ever came across anything that, um, uh, you know, that, that was less than desirable? 
as far as fines when you guys were out doing uh doing these things any um i i don't know any any bumps along the road as far as you know maybe bad signals from something from the other side and, and even though that you do dawn you know you do everything that you do to protect yourself and the girls you know has there been experiences for you that um you know that you think oh shit i i, I don't really know if i want to do this anymore that was really really scary or really um anything like that Shay, i'll let you answer first because i mean i've been at this since i was <laughs> five go ahead right. <laughs> um so nothing that ever made me want to you know, throw my hands up and, and, you know, not want to do it anymore, but definitely some very interesting things I have, I have seen, um, I have seen a, uh, uh like a shapeshifter, uh, oh, wow. going up and down the walls, um, in a dark room, which was incredible. Um, definitely a sight to see. I have, I have had entities sit on my lap, um, and uh there's been a lot of things um and i'm usually the brave one so they always throw me into the into the room you you go in and see what you can get uh you know this 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 entity is being stubborn and doesn't want to come out so usually they they don't like like big crowds so they want me to go in you know what i mean right right <laughs> like oh whatever so you know i went in and that's actually when they sat on my lap and i was like okay guys you can come back <laughs> Like, I, so I, I vote when we all go, guys, we send Mike into those kind of rooms and we just leave him there for a while. <laughs> no, no. That, that's uh -oh, where I'm at. Because <laughs> I may be a bit of a skeptic, but what I'm in those situations, because like when I was younger, I'd go camping a lot and like it was like Gretchen's Lock, you know, Gretchen died there in the 1800s. And you would like, yeah, we're going to go walk down to the lock where she died. You, you get halfway and I get freaked out. Like, no, I'm going back and everyone else would keep going. So I would not be the first one through the door. I'll be the Mike. last one will be hanging out back. Yeah, the, the stress of that moment actually made him lose his hair. Mike is actually 20, he's actually 22, everybody. Uh so let's uh, let's go on. So what do you guys have uh down coming down the road? What do you um I've heard you guys have a list. I'm sure you don't want to reveal anything, but what's some ideas that you guys are throwing around at one another that we could kind of uh, be prepared for, keep our eye open for now that we are getting this information for for um information we're gonna put out there how to watch you guys, how to keep up with you guys. Um, what are some ideas, some places, some things you guys are throwing around that uh, we could be looking forward to in the future? Well, we are going to be at the uh, Trans Lunatic Asylum, Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. That's going to be April 20th. We okay. are going to be having some lives um, off and on. We do have a YouTube. Um, that is Dawn's Early Light LLC Productions. That's our handle. Okay. Um, we will be... We'll be on several Facebook. Um, we have Facebook. We have Twitter. We have um, help me out here. Guys. Instagram. Yeah, all of our, our handle. Okay. Our handle on all of our socials is at pm underscore Pittsburgh. All of our socials are that's our handle, except for the YouTube. Um, so if you just Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, it's the same thing. Okay. Um, and so we'll be doing lives on our socials throughout that lockdown, throughout that night. After that, it's gonna be a matter of finding out where we wanna go next. Maybe, you know, Ohio State for Reform, you know, okay. we may go there. Gettysburg is definitely on the list. Yeah. Um, I've been to Gettysburg numerous times. Um, a huge hotspot there too. So yeah, I mean, we definitely, we love the lives, you know, we yeah. love the viewers to see what we're seeing and um, contact with, you know, everyone we love the support. We appreciate and that, it. And that is awesome. I mean, the lives, that, that's such a, that, that's such a huge connect with mm -hmm. people, you know, because a lot of times, you know, and, and I understand that people are doing it more now, but you know, whenever I was into it more, more or less, you were watching these shows on TV, they, who knows if they've been video edited, they don't, who knows if uh, they've been tampered, who knows what these people have in their minds that's on the right. other side of the camera. I love this idea. I love the idea that Jim's guys go live. You could watch, you watch the, the full emotion, the full spectrum. If you guys are excited, you found something. If you guys are terrified that you found something, you get to see all that up close yeah. and personal by going live. And, and I think that's amazing. I, I don't understand how something like that couldn't be interesting to people. We got yeah. a lot of good feedback. I feel like. Did you? Oh, cool. a lot yeah. Of yeah. Absolutely. Okay. That, that's Mike. What, uh, what do you got, Mike? What was that right? <laughs> uh, I was okay. taking notes. I was straight. I, no, you're I, good. No, no. I'm sorry. I was setting up the social, and I was pulling back. Up I was the, sharing uh, a little YouTube. bit. I'm sorry. I was sharing. I'm sorry. 
Um, so, so guys, this uh, the the asylum, uh, Ohio, uh, West Virginia, Gettysburg. I was also there quite a few times in my life. My yeah. dad, he was really into the Civil War and things like that when I was a kid. So I got stuck going to all these vacations to Gettysburg. My friends were going to Florida, uh, places like this, and you know, there I am on a battlefield. But you know what? As I grew up and I started to really understand what it was that was going on there, it's truly an amazing place. It really is a lot of things that people found. I'm sure you guys are researching things like this now that haven't been there and just, you know, see some of the, the videos or the pictures that were taken, some of the stories that people tell. I, I would certainly be very interested to watch that, of course. But you know what, Dawn, Danielle, Terry, Shea, I'm very interested in, in, in see, just watching it from now on. Now that I know you mm -hmm. guys are doing this. I think this is really cool. And, and again, it really, it really um, connects with people, the, the whole experience. And as you are getting ready to go in, you know, the, the anxiety, I mean, you know, it's, it's the, the study of human behavior. I think we all have a little bit of that in us. And I think that plays a big part as well as seeing what it is that you guys find and, and uh, you can find scientifically, whether you can find it spiritually. I think this is really interesting guys. Very interesting. Yeah. This is the paranormal I mean, Mavericks, everybody. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I I agree. I mean, we're building our website as well. So, you know, when we get that going and up and running, um, we'll get that out to everybody. And, you know, we have the TikTok, same handle. We just, you know, come follow us. Come watch us because there's more to come, definitely. That That's super cool. And is, that, is there a way for people to contact you and say, hey, guys, I know this really this really hot spot. I know a place that uh, I saw this. Or as people send you pictures, maybe stories of things that they've experienced. You getting all Absolutely. that kind of? We have an email. It's paranormalmavericks at yahoo.com. Okay. Super awesome, guys. Um, as I was saying before I went on, we I, I did this a little bit. And uh, there, there was this one time, guys. Now, I don't know if you've ever experienced anything like this, Dawn, Shay. But we were using uh, this one particular camera, which made me originally think that it was it was this camera. It was a digital camera. At the time, digital, digital cameras were still kind of working their way in. And we got back home and we're going through everything that we had found. And, uh, you know, a lot of things, as you said, it's, it's, you know, you got to be patient. A lot of things had nothing. But in a lot of these orbs now, Don, let me ask you, in these orbs, there were faces. Have you ever seen this? And it was in quite a few of these orbs. It wasn't one. It wasn't two. In some of these pictures, these orbs that were by the dozens had faces. Some looked like young people. Some looked like older people. Distorted, of course. You're not seeing them like we see each other right now. But as you see them in each and every, not each and every, but a lot of these orbs, there were faces. So one could say, you know what, maybe it's the camera. Maybe it's the, the digital camera. Maybe... But at the end of the day, when I'm going through these, I see faces. I see a baby face in one of them. Dawn, have you ever seen anything like that? I have not seen something like that on a camera, but I can tell you this. I honestly think that whatever the spirit wants you to see is what you're going to see. Right. And as far as what comes up on a camera, what comes up on a Polaroid camera, what comes up on these video cameras how we perceive what what comes up as well is you know a lot of people debunk it as well but right. you know it really it's the eyes of the beholder um you know the and as long the as there's no way for them to debunk it how can they get on you for trying to prove your point because they right. literally can't turn around and say i know for sure that this isn't real right so, you know that, that's that's what you're dealing with in this field and that that sucks right. but you know what as long as you love what you do right right absolutely I mean, like I said, there's going to be times where we are going to have evidence that's going to be debunked. And then there's going to be times where we're going to have things right in the live that are going to be like, you, you can't debunk that. Right. You know, um, it, it's just going to depend on the situation. Um, I'm sure there is stuff that, like you just said, that there are where you see faces and you're just like, I can't explain that. And then other times you can. And Dawn, it was so wild because it wasn't like all oh, those look like faces. They were right. faces, the, you know, the, the the sockets of the eyes. And again, it, it was not very clear, but for so many to have this, and again, in the same exact spots as a face would be, you've seen where it was darkened around the eyes or, you know, very, very distinct facial features that would say, I, I'm seeing a face in these. And again, it wasn't all of them. It wasn't all the pictures. It was some that we took. Uh, and, and until this day, I still wonder about that because, again, you know, uh, uh, people – 
you know, over the years I brought this up. And again, you know, it was probably the camera. It was probably this. It was probably reflection. It was probably uh, specks of dust. I mean, I'm sure you heard it all. So we'll do anything to debunk it. Right, right. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's all really interesting to me, guys. I, I find this super interesting. Um, and when matter of fact, when you told me you got a hold of me and you wanted to talk about this, I, I, was, I was like, we have to do this. There's no way that we're not going to do this and talk to you guys. But um, Dawn, why don't you go ahead? We'll do a little little split show here right in the middle. Why don't you go ahead and tell everybody how to get to you guys, how to find you guys' websites. I have it all written down here, but it's going to sound a lot more fluent coming out of your mouth. <laughs> um, so we do have an Instagram, a TikTok, a Facebook, and we have a, um, a YouTube as well. So all of our Instagram and our Facebook and our TikTok, the handle is at PM underscore Pittsburgh. The YouTube is at Dawn's Early Light LLC Productions. Did I miss any of the socials, girls? <laughs> Twitter. Twitter. I'm sorry. Twitter is also at PM That's called, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah. So those, all those socials are the PM underscore Pittsburgh, except for YouTube. Our email is paranormalmavericks at yahoo.com. We do have a phone number as well, 412-444-8144. So awesome, guys. I, I'm so I'm so interested in this. I, I really am. Um, as I'm getting down my list of questions, I'm, I'm constantly trying to think of more to, to keep asking you. I, I really, really enjoy talking to you guys. Mike, you have a look. Do you, you have something? Uh, no, I, I'm just like... Um, you're just looking I know for you're going to say, hey, you you're said like the gargoyle. We should go with them, and yeah. I'm dreading the day that that's going to happen because I know I'm going to embarrass myself. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm that is such a brilliant idea. I know they're going to come. And that's all I can That is such a brilliant idea. Happens. I'm just going to be the should. big scaredy cat well, on the live, and I'm just <laughs> embracing that okay, now. Though. It just dawned on me that it's I'm going to be it, that. You guy. just gave me that great idea. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I'm thinking that the ghosts probably come out and they, they come around and they see you guys. When they see us, I'm sure they're going to go the other way. Uh, you bring in the, 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 the. I got charisma though. The ghosts will love me. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to love to torment me or love to hang out with me. It's going to be one or the other. Yeah, we'll sit around the table, light the candles. You guys will be fine. I think it sounds like a great time, guys. Um, I'm going to go through everybody here. I'm just going to see, you know, anything that you want to say, uh, anything that you want to, uh, just anything, anything about the group, anything about experiences, what you want to do. Um, I'll start with, again, I'm just going to go in, in order that I see it. Terry, uh, anything, anything to close out for the day? I'm just really excited. I, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm glad that I got a group of people that want to do it. Because like they said before, it's hard to find that. I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, awesome. Uh, Danielle? Um, I feel the same way. I feel that um, I'm very lucky to have met Dawn and Terry and Shay. But if it weren't for Dawn, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, and I'm very, very excited to go to the Trans-Allegheny um, Lunatic Asylum. Um, I'm super excited about that. And I love going to like the different psychic fairs with Dawn and um, just meeting different people. Uh, so I'm, I'm really, really excited to, to get ghost hunting. Yeah. Hopefully you guys will be along with us. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm excited for you guys just hearing the, hearing the excitement in your voices and, and seeing how you, uh, you know, plan on, on moving, moving forward. It's really exciting to, to, experience and see you and talk with you guys uh shay what about you well i mean ditto on all of that i am super excited um moving forward i i have i know i've done this before but i literally just threw myself into it now now with a group that that knows you know what i mean what they're doing and has the same passion especially yeah. from dawn like i i have already learned a lot from her um, as far as protection and, and, and all that goes. Um, and I'm still learning and I have a lot to learn and, uh, I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm excited on all the many journeys we're going to go on and, and we have fun. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be good. That's super awesome. And, you know, and, and we are excited too. And, and I hope that more and more and more and more people learn about you guys, because I think they're going to be just as excited as we are. They're going to want to kind of see how this plays out. They're going to see how the, the experience is. Um, Dawn. 
just to, just an overall summary, Dawn. What do you, I what do you like? About, what do you like about these these ladies around you? I love them. I love these girls. I, this has been such an adventure, and there's so much more to come. And I cannot wait for. We're just getting our feet wet. We're just starting out. You know, I have been manifesting this, and I'm not done. And yeah. I cannot wait for what's coming. You know, this is the the beginning. You know, and. Um, I was just talking to Ryan and Ron the other day, uh, you know, I just got cast in the second part of the, uh, the Witches of Brookstown and um, the home that um, we were investigating, you know, they were just one of the places they were looking at and the activity that is in that home and just to us to go back to, you know, possibly examine that again, I was just thinking to myself, you know, how one little spot can just be the start of something so amazing you know yeah and here we are going on to trans allegheny and now something more now Um, i'm sorry good no that it's okay i just it's just amazing how one little live can be just yeah part of such such an amazing adventure but yeah we we really get along great and you know we just there's just so much more to come for us now the 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 uh, trans the, the, uh, what's it called again? One more time. Trans Allegheny. Trans Allegheny. Oh, lunatic. Asylum. See, I, I knew that I would mess it up over and over, so I, I avoided <laughs> saying the name the whole entire episode, the whole segment here. But guys, <laughs> going into that, looking forward to that. Now, do you guys have, have you guys game plan before you go in? Uh, guys, Danielle and I are going to do this. Shay and I are going to do that. Terry, you do this. I mean, is there is there like a game plan going in? Or, you know, do you, you basically kind of generally have an idea of what it is that you're going to do when you get in there? And then you guys, you know, pretty much um, make it happen again, being so new, still kind of learning off each other as well. I think we're working on the game plan as far as the lives and we're working on, um, you know, who's running what. And um, I think my main goal is just before we get in there, always is just making sure we do our, you know, our protection and making sure yeah. we're, we're taken care of. But um, that's a lockdown, so we're going to be there all night. So, um, you know, we'll probably do a live, you know, a couple, like an hour here, and an hour here, right. an hour here. Depending on what session we want to do, we're depending, we'll decide, is it going to be spirit box? Is it going to be dowsing rods? We'll decide, you know, right. what we're going to do. But it, no matter what, I think it's going to be amazing with a, with a live. You know, you're, you're going to see it raw. Absolutely. And, and what kind of time do you guys put into... As far as, let's say you go to a place like this, what, what kind of time do you anticipate putting into this particular project? Say you go there and, and you guys get there at uh, 8 o'clock at night. Is, is this an all-night thing with you guys? You guys try to get in, get out by by midnight? You know, what, what's the uh, thought process there? 5 a.m., right? 8 to 5? Yeah. yeah. Five. Interesting. Wow. Hey, you guys are really <laughs> – you guys are doing some, some serious hunting, man. Um, Jumping I, I, right I, in. <laughs> I'm very, very, very interested. I, as a matter of fact, Mikey, you know, as you heard, he's got in, into your video as we've been on, but I will get on here shortly. I'm very interested to see what goes on with you guys when you get out there. Uh, super interested. Uh, Dawn, I, you know, you're always welcome here. And also, Dawn, you were mentioning a little bit more. So you you are cast in the, in the second part of the Carver House, which is where you've been on before. We've had you on talking about the Carver House, amongst other things, uh, you know, you, with, with modeling and there, there's been a handful of situations where we talk to you. Uh, tell me a little bit more about the second uh, installment of the Carver House. Uh, it's called the, Bro- the w- Witches of Brookstown. They are in the script writing right now. They're just writing the script okay. and uh, getting it together. But yeah, Ron and Ryan are working on that. Um, and I got cast as the same character, Pearl. So nice. Um, yeah, and pretty. I'm pretty excited. They always, you know, work so hard. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what what you know what's going to come about once i get that script in my hands <laughs> i tell you what when it all came to fruition at the end and i and i seen you guys on facebook getting out of the limousine and showing up in a crowd oh, of people you know greeting you it was very exciting dawn i you definitely made us fans there's no two ways about that uh we're going to continue to follow you and everything that you do but most Thank importantly you. today guys paranormal mavericks you got to check these guys out uh we we are very interested in, in helping you spread the word Get the word out there. We will do everything that we can on our end to have uh, people 
over, you know, down our way know what's going on with you guys. And as you said earlier, you guys, uh, you know, you, you find a spot and, and you think it's interesting, you're going to go check it out. So you're not just confined to the, the area that you're in. Um, are you guys all from the basic same area or do you guys uh, have to do traveling to, to catch up with one another? Or how's that work out? I'm no, actually like... down from Pittsburgh, so it okay. takes me a little longer usually. Okay. But it just depends on where we're going. Yeah, right, right. And, and when do you guys see this next, uh, the next hunt go down? When, when are we, when are we looking at going? April 20th is when we'll be at the Lunatic Asylum. You did say yeah, that, April didn't 20th. You? You did say yeah. that. So April 20th, everybody. April 20th. That's right around the corner. Absolutely. See you guys yeah, ready? I'm so Chomp, excited. Chomping at the bit yes. ready to get out there? Yep. We'll be there yeah, the yeah. whole weekend. Yeah. Weekend. Okay. Wow. We're nice. actually there the whole weekend, so we're going to get the get to know each other a little bit more on friday kind of oh that's Maybe. gonna be really and yeah, this they're is gonna, gonna be loving the spirits that come with me and the, the there's gonna be this is gonna be live we're so gonna be seeing friday. a lot of this happen yeah so friday we're gonna get a feel for everybody and saturday we're gonna maybe do the day tour so we can get a little bit of information right. on the building um different um entities that are, there are there and then we're gonna go back hang out at the hotel for a while and then we're gonna rest up for the eight o'clock lockdown you so. can say i'm interested because I already, i've already hit my reminder on my phone there's no way that i'm missing this i gotta tell you um mike anything else for the ladies i, I i'm super excited I'm i super I, I have nothing other than like if we do get invited to go out um so the next tour well we'll talk about that mike yeah <laughs> when, when you're gonna come out with us we'll, we'll discuss that all right all right yeah like yeah just you know be prepared i probably <laughs> will be you know the frightened little to, you know toddler running her along with everyone so just throw that out there oh but no i you know thank you guys for coming on here it's, it's good I, I enjoyed this like i said i sometimes i really get into it sometimes i'm skeptic but you know you know i i like the way you guys are approaching this and yeah you know, thank you I, I can't wait to see what, what, what you guys do next i, I can't wait for the next slide and it's going to be interesting for us in a sense as well because i i am more of the spiritual person mike is more of the scientific guy however we don't uh, we don't hold, we don't put up a wall. I do listen to what he says. He does listen to what I say. We, we might fight, we might argue, but I, I think that it's going to be interesting because just the, the two kind of people that we are, whenever we in fact do go out with you guys, I think it's going to be interesting from top to bottom for many reasons. I certainly can't wait. Uh, I know, I know Mike can't wait. I'll certainly be texting him a little bit tonight more about this <laughs> and uh, just, just very interesting. And as I said, it kind of, it, in my life, it kind of came and went as a youngster. I was interested. I wanted the Ouija board. I was just interested in, in, in that kind of thing. And as I get older, you get into different things and it's like, wow, now I'm in my early twenties. Guess what? I'm interested in watching this show it, that brings it back. Then and again, when I got to my thirties, another, you know, you see something else. So there's certain times in life that it always brings it back to the surface for me. It's something that I, that I have ingrained in me that, that I don't know how, why it's there, but I do have an interest. So guys, I, I loved 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 getting to talk to you guys today i i love the idea of getting out and going and doing this with you i think it'll be super fun until then we will be you know watching you guys we'll be watching your lives we'll be promoting you. you talking about you and um dawn one more time why don't you give information one more time just uh just to have it at the end of the show to bookend it i don't want anybody to miss anything i want any, everybody to be able to find right. you no matter what and, and and follow you and support you uh Absolutely. Be, so on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, our handles are at PM underscore Pittsburgh. On YouTube, our handle is at Dawn's Early Light LLC Productions. Our email is paranormalmavericks at yahoo.com. And our telephone number is 412-444-8144. So if they have any place they want us to investigate, they know anybody that needs um, an investigation, or they just want to come follow us on the lives, they can message us and follow us. We, now, we, can people message you while you're doing the lives? I mean, do, do you pay attention to the to the video aspect to where, like, say you're, you're out and something happens, maybe you look at your phone and somebody might have asked a question, like on a live. Would you guys be open or do you guys have communication that way or is that would that just be too much to take away from what it is that you're doing i think it would be probably too much we do okay. have a technical guy who who runs behind the scenes with our okay. lives i personally don't have any electronics i am i'm in 
spirit space. Right. <laughs> I, no, can't, I cannot do that. Um, I'm, I would not even have my phone. Um, but we do have somebody who is running the lives. So yeah. if there is, I think, you know, something going through, maybe we may open up the comments and, you know, he could probably see that. Um, so if there is something that, you know, maybe somebody wanted to see something, then maybe in the future that could be. That could be a cool. Yeah. Yes. Or if someone sees should. something in the background, right. they could tell yeah. us. Say you guys yeah. are standing in front of a fireplace <laughs> and somebody that's watching it sees somebody walking behind you that you don't see. You know, that, that could be very helpful for you guys, <laughs> right. you know. Absolutely. Wow, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Um, I'm sorry, Dawn. If I cut you off, I, I do oh, apologize. No, You're good. But, I uh, also wanted. I also wanted to say that we will be at the Psychic Fair May 11th. Okay, um, where's the Psychic Fair? Fair? It's um, Dawn. Where's it at? It's at the Comfort Inn on Rhode Island Road. Yes. Okay, and that's May. The, May 11th. 11. Okay. Yeah. So they can come and get a reading from Dawn, or they can come and meet the Paranormal Mavericks and. Any that's questions? really awesome that is really... we will all be there um maybe answer any questions or you know they can take uh, our business card and contact us on the side or yes anything like that because we'll you know t-shirts at the end of the yeah, day every, as i said at the top of the show everybody has an interest in this to some degree whether, whether they're going to be a skeptic whether they're going to be somebody that argues with you whether they're going to be somebody that, that right. just loves what you're doing I think at the end of the day, it, it's who we are. It's it's what we are. And everybody somewhere inside has an interest in this to some degree. And and you guys seem like you're just doing all the right things. You got cards, you got books, you guys are getting together, you guys are talking to people, you guys are doing interviews. You it, it's really awesome to see. And it's it's really awesome that I know you guys. And uh Dawn, it's always, always great having you on. And I did not forget about your tarot reading. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna bleed it all together and do it with what you know the, the uh paranormal mavericks are on today for, but I do still want to get that uh the tarot reading for you one day, Dawn. I think that would be great mm -hmm. for the show. I I I have to hear what's gonna happen to Mike in the future. That's uh basically the only thing that keeps me going every day is the <laughs> bad things that may happen to Mike. But uh this was super <laughs> awesome, guys. You guys are amazing. Terry, Thank Danielle, you. Shay. Dawn, super, super awesome having you on. We wish you all the luck. We will be continuing to follow you. And as I said, you'll probably start uh, seeing our names pop up on places as well for things that, that are following you. Dawn, get me the information for, um, you know, uh, the group. Pictures and stuff we spoke about a little bit earlier. If you just have pictures of you guys together or pictures, yeah, just, yeah. you know, of, of any capacity of you guys doing what it is that you do. We'd love to put that up for you to, to spread the word. I want this uh, I want this to be big, guys. I want the Maverick team, the Paranormal Mavericks, to be the biggest thing out of Western Pennsylvania. I think that would be super. The best thing out of, of, out of Pittsburgh. We are all aboard. We are always behind that. Anybody else, before we take off, guys, any, anybody have anything they want to say? Any questions? Any uh, Anything? Now's your time. No. We are just thankful. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Me. Thank you for yeah. having us. I just wanted to say thank you for having us course guys never a problem and as i tell dawn all the time you guys are always welcome once you're on the show you're always 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 welcome on the show super meeting you guys again terry danielle shay dawn you're awesome i i learned a lot from you guys i can't wait to learn more i can't wait to um to really dig into this which i am going to do this evening uh our pittsburgh penguin stink so i'm going to turn that on not watch <laughs> it but i'm going to really dig into what it is that you guys are doing while the game is on but guys thank you so much Absolutely. Mike, anything you want to say to the... No, to I just the, want to... Thanks again for coming on. I, I really enjoyed this. It was Thank a lot you. of fun, guys. And we do We want to see you more. We want you to come back once you go to the uh, Insane Asylum. We want you to come back after you have the biggest hunt that you've ever had. We want you to, oh, to yeah. come back when, you know, Shay gets possessed and you guys have to... <laughs> I, we, we want to hear it all. So do not, do not forget us, Dawn. Ladies, we, we love okay. you guys. We wish you all the luck. Everybody... This is the Paranormal Mavericks. Go check them out. Check all the sources that Dawn gave you. Yes. They're all over the internet. Guys, thank you so much for thank watching you. the Paranormal Mavericks. Thank the you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye, -bye.